years ago, we were, um, it was our first uh, European tour, and when the tour began, we did not have a London date, but our, our record company guy, and it's not Matador, so they're not implicated. So actually, he's, well, said, uh, they got us a date at Dingwalls, and uh, yeah, we had been to Dingwalls before, and I was like, yeah, cool club. I, I don't know if he thought so. The flesh tones were great that night. Uh, and, and, but it was, on the, it was on their night when they had five bands. They didn't list who the bands were, it was just five bands. Was, I know at CBGB's they always had like the audition night. That was basically what we were on. Uh, although we were not one of the five bands, we were the sixth band. <laughs> and um, we, we were told we had 20 minutes, we got it, we understood. And uh, we went to set up, and, and as you may have noticed in the course of the evening, Georgia is left-handed. And, uh, you know, for you people who are not as, you know, who may not be in bands, left-handed drummers set up their drums differently. So Georgia went to change the drum set that was being shared for the left-handed drummer that she is. And they're like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? It's like, you know, just setting up the equipment. They, they were incensed. They were like, they, the stage crew like walked off. They wouldn't set up microphones. And meanwhile, uh, the Clash DJ, Barry Myers, was the uh, DJ that night. He's playing great music. And we're like, this is fucking idiotic. Let's not do any songs. We'll just play feedback for 20 minutes. And, you know, that'll be, that'll be that. So we just, as soon as anyone was ready to play, we just started playing. So we started making noise. And, uh, and at that point, they came over to try to set up trump mics for George's drums, and she just starts swinging at them, and two minutes later, they cut the power on us. <laughs> and that was our London debut. <laughs> Very similar to uh, tonight, in many key ways. Uh, what do you think, James? This man probably played Dick Walls, right? Absolutely. Absolutely.
Well, it's just a little palate cleanser. <laughs> now we'll uh, hopefully send you home humming the melody. Send it out to all our pals in New York City, and uh, it goes a little something like this. Two, three, four. A man in London, down to the window, how will we know we're still alive? How will we reach you?
Thank you very much.